Back in our new office area here, tattling the tabletops again. This is about our third or fourth attempt now to down there. Uh, Jig's just getting set up with some cameras and light. Boys will be with us in a moment. You can see them down there and there. But now it is sanding down the, with the turner, sanding down this two part wood filler. And we put a bit of fine filler in as well on another day. So our pieces to camera now is about the main table being done and the fact that all these edges now are polished and, and kind of sanded off here, made them a little bit, can't turn, turn that around a minute, made them a lot safer there because our kids have got a tendency of, well, accidentally running into things. So we've made them as nice and smooth as possible all the way down here. So now it's sand these down and I still don't know what I'm going to do with this surface. I might burn it today, I don't know. And also I might prime up these edges ready for our, our uh, resin video table because that's what these boards are for. I've just arrived at a great little second hand place that is packed to the ceiling with a variety of different things i've come here looking for some pieces that we can upcycle for some of our french videos but there's everything in here that you could possibly need for a house but i'm going through i've had a little look around that side i'm now popping in here and i've found this beautiful fire surround which is what i want to do a makeover on but there's also another one there now as well and this is even grander so i'm a little bit spoiled for choice i think i'm going to go for this real big one yeah i think we will these little second hand places are hidden treasures i love them you're upcycling something you're stopping it from going into the landfill you're picking them up you know some things are next to nothing you know and if you've got the time to put the work in on them you can really turn them around and make them worthwhile having and this is a, a little little gold mine it is here in liverpool coming here quite regular trying to find bits and pieces to do makeovers on and i'm pleased i've come this morning it's called murray's if anyone wants to look it up online i had to race the b and q to pick up some stuff and look what i bumped into wagner close look at this box <laughs> you see my ugly face on them <laughs> Look at this, I went for it. Come close to this. Watch the timber watch. Burning it. Just to make it a little bit darker because we know it'll work really, really well in our um, in our office, obviously. The wall panelling that we've got on the wall is a lot darker and we thought if this is too light, we're gonna have a combination of different colour woods, too many, and it can clash. So I thought I'll try to just scorch it, paint it that little bit more. I mean, look at it, it looks beautiful. Once the resin goes on this, and it is going to go on tomorrow, it should look fantastic. And really draw the grain and the colour out. And I'm liking that. Woohoo! The wood for our table has turned out nice. Now it's been torched. And um, put a little bit of a stain on there, as you can see, that's gone a little bit dark. You can't quite see it on the phone here. But, um, that's one that hasn't had any on yet. So I'm just going to put a little bit of wood dye on top of them because you can you can gloss them with the coat and prime them, put wood preservatives, put anything you want actually on them um, to make it kind of blend in with the rest of the stuff. Most people just paint straight over if you're fixing a window or a door, and that's perfectly fine and good. But um, and so you can see it's a little bit darker there. I'll still sand over that. And I might even dilute the wood stain a little bit and just bleed it into it to kind of disguise it the best you can, you know. <laughs> 